A man diagnosed with prostate cancer is much more likely to die of cardiac disease and not from prostate cancer, unless the diagnosis of cancer is made at a very late stage. For that reason, a man's cardiac history, his cardiovascular risk factors, and the choice of which drug to use for ADT, hormone therapy, are very critical issues. Androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, the mainstay of treatment for years, is associated with a 10 to 20 percent increased risk of cardiac complications, such as heart attack, stroke, or sudden death. If a man has already had two important cardiac events before starting ADT, the risk of another cardiac event is greatly increased. Surprisingly, these serious problems can occur within the first 6 to 12 months after starting treatment. Degarelix, Firmagon, the name of the new drug for ADT, is less toxic to the heart than luprolide, Lupron, and for many clinicians is becoming the preferred agent for hormone therapy. Every man before starting ADT needs a thorough evaluation for cardiac risk factors. This exam should focus on the past history of cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, elevated cholesterol, triglycerides, and lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise. In some men, this pre-ADT evaluation will lead to choosing Firmagon over Lupron, or receiving the shortest period of hormone therapy as possible, or beginning a program of modification of cardiac risk factors, or possibly avoiding the use of these drugs entirely.